Hello and welcome to another episode of Ken Training, where we want to train you on how to tackle projects like this one on your own. Today's quick video is going to be how to test the igniter on your natural gas dryer. I have a Samsung natural gas dryer right here behind me. In today's quick video, it's going to be how to test the igniter. In the video, in the portions of the video, you'll see me also refer to it as the glow plug. In reality, it's called the igniter, but I use those terms synonymously. So here we go. Okay, now we have a glow plug right here. There's an electrical connection. We're going to pull that electrical connection by wiggling it and pulling it apart. There we go. Now, on the glow plug, we just have to loosen this. We don't have to remove the screw all the way. So we're going to take in it, take the screw, loosen it up. And now we are going to remove it gently from its housing. This is the filament. We don't want to touch that with our human hands because there's oils on your hands that if you touch the filament, you'll shorten the life expectancy of that filament. Let's take it to the workbench and test it. The igniter or the glow plug should have an ohm reading of somewhere between 50 to 400 ohms. We take our meter, put it on the ohm or the omega symbol here, and we'll get the reading. Now we're gonna go on our prongs and making sure not to put our fingers on this testing. We're gonna see what that is. Now you see that number? 150 ohms, absolutely perfect within the the specifications of the, the igniter slash glow plug. So the igniter is doing fine. Let's go ahead and reinstall the igniter. Now there's a slot on the igniter that needs to correspond with the slot here on this. So it's to make, they want to make it idiot proof. It goes in a very specific way. So we're going to make sure we line up that slot, bring it back all the way and then we're going to go ahead and tighten down on the screw. Actually, the longer screwdriver would be better here. Tighten that down. Don't go gorilla tight. Just go snug. Make sure that it's nice and reasonably snug. Okay, good. Now we're going to reconnect our electrical connection here. That is going to conclude this video. I hope you've got some valuable information out of this video. I tried to do my best to give you everything I can to present to you troubleshooting one of these Samsung natural gas dryers. Do me a solid and smash that like button down for me right now. If you want to, leave your experience about what's happening with your dryer in the comments below. If you want, you can comment on my video whether you think I did a good or a poor job presenting the information to you. I did my best to present it to you to the best of my abilities. That's it. I will catch you on the flip side.